Okay, so I'm going to ask you some questions. These are questions about... <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I forgot what they was about. Oh, how can you cultivate... What are you doing? How can you cultivate time? Um, when you are in the midst of waiting for something to happen, but you don't like it, you know, cultivate, um, consume. How do you consume? I think that that's a question. I think I need consume. How do you consume? I think it's called. I think you. What is cultivate? What is it? Look it up. Because <laughs> I know I'm not just throwing words out there. I think it's consume. How do you consume time? C U L T I V E. So I was all over. Okay. What did it say? Yeah, I was all over. Dang. Okay. So I meant, um, no, prepare. Prepare. So that, that kind of go with what I'm talking about. How you prepare yourself, you know, in that time. Or with time, how do you sit with the time? Okay, so I'm going to go to the um, questions. But that's what the topic is about. How do you consume? I'm going to use consume. How do you consume time? Um, in the midst of waiting for something to happen, but you don't really want to rush. You want to, you know. Oh, it seems to me. I didn't ask the question. It's oh. that it's on that topic. Okay, so the question is. Oh, see, I was right. There is cultivate. I was right. Now, okay, so how can you cultivate? <laughs> how can you cultivate patience and perseverance in your spiritual walk particular 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 what no particularly particularly in areas where you're waiting for god's time so how do i cultivate that cultivate um patience oh Because if you don't have faith and you don't trust, then you're not going to trust the process of the, um, what's the second part? I'm, I'm trying to answer the questions. I can't look it up. Perseverance. How you cultivate um, perseverance and patience? Oh, I feel like if you're doing your work, the spiritual walks to me, like you're doing in your journey, that means you're doing your work. So, like, you're. That's your patience right there. That's what's going to keep you patient. That's what's going to keep you, you know, good. Because if you're doing the work, you're putting the time in, you're putting the work in, that's what's going to keep you patient and keep you, you know, motivated at the same time to know, like, I'm hitting in the right direction because you're doing the work. If you're putting the work in, you're going to still keep the work, the um, benefit the money. You know, being patient, trusting, faith, all that. And you have to do those things. If you don't do those things, then you're stuck outside of it. And that's why you get un you get impatient. Mm. You, know, you start to doubt the process, doubt the situation of you know, a situation and stuff. So that's what the main thing to me is always stay focused on the work. And every day is work to be done. No matter what, even if you feel like it's nothing, it is always something. <laughs> Shut up. But that would go out. That's just me. I didn't ask the question. But I am. <laughs> um, 
I guess I will I will cultivate patience and perseverance by um working on myself. Staying busy, continuing on with my life, um, focuses focusing now on the present moment rather than thinking ahead of time. Um, like you said, trusting, trusting in the process, and just work on myself. You know, I would just spend that time to work on myself. Don't think too much about what's ahead because that's how you get stuck. Um, looking behind you or focusing on the rear view mirror, you know, rather than, you know, focusing ahead. I guess. What stops you? What you think, what, what you think stops you from that stuff? What stops you from what? Like, like, the distraction? Staying, you know, what stops you? What do you feel? What, what's, what's the roadblock? It's always a roadblock, right? What's the roadblock that you have to figure out how to get around, move over? You know what I'm saying? To stay focused on everything you said. Um, the roadblock for me would be my curiosity with spirituality since it's a spiritual question only you know what could block you from god what can block you from god's timing is take event taking advantage of the time and going going ahead and trying to be curious or trying to think well trying to do stuff on your own um trying to okay so since i'm not getting my answer from god I take it upon myself to go ahead and do other things that will basically say, you know, I forgot that was <laughs> Okay, so I would, um, she said basically you can only be curious and stuff. Yeah, so I would. I no, you said was the block. So I feel like the only thing that would block me was would be me taking matters into my own hand. Yeah. That would be my only block. But other than that, you know, I would just, you know, humble myself mm -hmm. and um, just focus on now, the present moment, rather than. Um, in what areas of your faith journey do you struggle with impatience or desire for instant results? What's the faith journey? What's the, what, in what? In what areas of your faith journey do you struggle with impatience or a desire for instant results? Basically, same thing as you just said. I'm always trying to take it into my hands. Like, you know, sometimes you need, you know, Things to be patiently waiting for, you know, for the for the come on, you just patiently waiting, you know. Like sometimes you wanna say, you know what, I'm gonna do this or I'm here, you know what, because I keep doing this and keep doing this and running into this and it's not working, you know, so I'm gonna do this, you know. Stepping in my own way, basically, getting in my own way. That's that's gonna be like I said I have a faith in God and believing like I'm supposed to, like I do. And then like it's be the moments where you're like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. Like that's where you mess up at. That's where you kinda ruin it. Well for me, not the world. But what area specifically on your faith journey do you struggle with the most where you find yourself getting angry, like I need this to happen now. It's not working for me, you know. you find you see yourself getting impatient like with the situation. I don't wanna get too deep into it, detail wise, but there's certain things that I know You know, yeah, what is that thing? I don't want to have my anger. You know, well, that's the purpose of the question. What's that thing? It's like a therapist. It's like a, 
things like that sometimes are things that I need to do to get myself where I want to be at. Because I know I, I have to have those things, right? So, like that. And, like, going in the process that, like, I got my faith and all good and everything, but it's sometimes, like, when you get told, no, or some of the times when you, you put in this and put in that and it's denied, denied, or it's, it don't work out in your favor, that's when, like, you, your faith is just wasting time. So you try to do it alone. You try to go this way. And that's not the way to go. That's not the way you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to continue to keep on holding on and believing and keeping your faith in that it's God is going to come through on his time, not yours. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, yeah, like sometimes you want to be there in your time. I know that I, well, I want to do this in my time. I need to get things done right now. And I want to take care of that now. Like, I want to get things done right now. This is what I want to do. I want to do all this stuff. But really, I just exhaust myself. And that's what we do. Exhaust yourself, cause you ain't gonna get it. You're not, you're not ready for it. Whatever reason he ain't giving it to you, but then now you exhausted. Now you feel me, you know. So that, then you gotta get, you gotta regroup, get yourself back to that, you know. So that's what one of my things I struggle with. So what do you think? Yeah. Okay. Um. Right, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Okay, so consider a time when I, is this the one I chose? Okay. When I faced a delay or obstacle in my spiritual life. <sighs> um, it is personal. It is a personal question, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Okay. Right. <laughs> um. Yeah. I guess just trying to go through with my plans. You know, parenting, handling my responsibilities, um, and just. Um, I guess maintaining my composure. Um, when things don't go my way, I tend to get frustrated, you know, and it's hard for me to get past how I feel in order to continue on um, in a direction that I'm headed. So then I fall off track and... Um, And I tend to go astray, you know, because I feel like, you know, I'm not getting my results right then and now. So now I have to go ahead and um, do it another way, you know, try again. Well, I, I take it upon myself to go ahead, go this way because I'm like, you know, ain't nothing happening for me over here. So why should I stay over here and do what I need to do? So, I mean, why should I stay over here and wait? you know, when I can just figure it out for myself. So I get angry and I get impatient and I get aggravated to where sometimes I just give up altogether and I try not to, but I do. But I have no other choice. So for me, I guess it's just battling the challenges of being a human, being human. <laughs> Basically, being human because not everybody is going to understand your situation. That is true. Not everybody gonna understand it. Not yeah, and sometimes they don't even care to. They don't even. They ain't gonna judge you. Know? They ain't gonna judge you. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. Just gotta do what you gotta do. Don't believe in yourself. You gotta just like no matter what, you gotta live or die with it. It's like you gotta live or die with you believe in how you. But another way you can cultivate patience and perseverance is going through it. Yeah. Going through it, um, enduring all of it, taking in all that you're 
you know, you're building up inside, you know, um, a lot of situations, a lot of people is in different situations. So it's hard for them to, it's hard for them to tackle something because they know, they know their position. So they, they're, they often allow their position to hold them back. Um, so when you do eventually go through it and you, you gain that strength and courage to go, go through it and take it on, you know, then I would say cultivate all of those skills and cultivate that mindset. Um, cultivate that mindset and just remember what it took to for you to get there, what it took um, as you was going through it. Keep that, keep that within you for the next time. Um, hold on. Patience. Perseverance in your spiritual walk, particularly in areas where, so yeah, so doing all that will allow you to humble yourself until God does come around and you, um, yeah, when God does come around, that's basically making you stronger. Um, for God and showing like after when that time do come, you know, you built yourself up and now you can handle it. Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah, so we put that there. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel like I did wrong. That's what I should have did. I didn't do, but that's what I should have did. Um Yeah. Okay, so consider a time when you face delay. Didn't we just, didn't I just do this one? Yeah. Yeah. How did you respond and what did you learn from this experience? Oh, no, I didn't do this. Okay. Consider a time when you faced delay or, or an obstacle in your spiritual life. How did you respond and what did you learn from the experience? Uh, Excuse me. Consider, consider a time when you faced delay or obstacle in your spiritual life. How did you respond and did, what did you learn from the experience? In your spiritual life, not your daily life, spiritual life. Because my spiritual walk in life was a little bit different. I just feel once I got, once I opened up or everything opened up, it was like it took off for me. I never really had to, you know, a delay or had to wait because I feel like once I arrived, once it arrived to me, I arrived to me, and I opened up, it like changed my life forever. You know what I'm saying? So it didn't, I didn't have no delay in a way because it's just once I got there, <clears throat> you know, my mind was different. Like, like I was different. Like my whole body, mind, everything, spirit was different. So it, it just, my belief was way different. You know? Things I used to think about and all that changed. So I don't, I don't think I had never had to delay, but. Just fortunate to once I experience my my way, well my way of being spiritually awakened, I guess mm -hmm. it took off. Like it took off. It was something I was looking forward to, so it's like I didn't really have to think about nothing else or worry or think or anything coming because like it was something once I got it, it was like wow. You know, I'm the type of person where I you work for it, so you always you always meet in halfway so once it come you already have to do and then like i'm the type so you never like, really experience the delay or just like once i get something i want more and i that's like kind of my biggest fear i guess you could say i look at it as kind of a problem sometimes like it could be a gift and a curse it could be like a great thing but also it could be a bad thing in certain situations is that when i experience something so traumatic and great 
like like a spiritual awakening. It ain't about to experience an actual real spiritual awakening. Some people get scared. I don't. It's like I run to it. I want to see. I want to experience more. I want to. I want to get the full experience. Like that's my issue. Like I want the full experience. I never have to do anything, so it's like I want the full experience. Cause it's like, why even get awakened if I'm gonna be scared or if I'm gonna feel like, oh man, I don't know, I'm second guessing. It's a reason why, and then now it's like going a step further. It's almost like that movie. Remember that movie, um, National Treasure, the treasure. Mm-hmm. And they're looking for the treasure, and then every time they get to somewhere, they never got the treasure. But they got something like a clue or something, and then it, it just kept going, it kept going, it never stopped, and all the stuff that he's going through, he almost lost their life and everything. But that's how I take the same, like, yeah, um, example as far as my spiritual walk. It's like once I feel something, it's like, man, wow, that was good. Now I know the fuck. But a lot of people don't. They they get to a point like, man, I don't know. Man, it's scary. I don't know. Or they be having doubt or whatever the reason they have. Like I said, I'm not a person. Um, so what you think um gives you that courage what put that courage in you to face anything you know without any type of fear to get what you want to go I feel God, as far um, as you want to I feel like God doesn't put fear in the soul I always say that my mom always tells me that growing up God doesn't put fear in the soul so there's no fear and um like a lot of, that's my big thing too that the one question I guess you can you can throw this in that question one of my fears is that sometimes, because we all, we human beings, I don't care. And that's doing. another fear. Okay, so let's say you going, you taking it that far, you trying to, you know, you pushing and you pushing, but what do, what if you realize that you, you, you've, um, you've hit some type of spot in you to where, I don't know, I can't freaking get it out. Okay, so what if you, all of a sudden, you do become fearful of the situation. I feel like you yeah, had well, you don't you wouldn't think that's God right there. Like, like you had you right noticed there. the whole time you've been trying to get to where where you wanted to go, and even and then this one time, you become fearful. I feel like that's the one time you don't think like, that's like some type of warning or caution to God trying to tap into that, you know, warning. gut telling you to stop. It's a definite. Well, it depends what it is. Like, I've never been in a situation, situation of this sense. Like, if I'm doing something I'm supposed to be doing, and then I'm talking about this type of sense, maybe it's a different uh, uh, purpose in my life and it's doing well for me. I feel like there's no wrong of always trying to get the good things when it's serving you, when it's doing something for you in your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just depends what it is. Like, if I know if I'm doing something I'm supposed to be doing, then yeah, if you get to that point, I'm going to have to stop because you got to think about it. But I'm talking about I don't do nothing in my life to that point where that's, you know, going to be the issue. Like, for me, what I mean by good is, or what I mean by like spirit, like, spiritual to me is positive. It's good. It's something that we all need in a way. You can still, like, like being a Christian or being a religion, whatever, but you still, your spiritual side is something you can do. You see what I'm saying? It's something that, it's an individual it's an individual experience that you have to have for yourself that we all should have to partake in. So I'm saying when you everybody go through different things. So when you when you get reach yours, you should want to like kinda of hold on to it, you know, kinda of like embrace it and get the full experience. Don't be afraid. Like whatever happens, happens. Like I don't look at it as being fearful. I don't care because like for me, it is good. I can't say that because I feel like for me that that's what it is. Like you gotta hold on to it. You gotta in this world you're gonna have your your moments, right? And it's it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be like uncomfortable, I guess. But I'm telling you, like if you can persevere through that, it like reveals something about you. That's another thing too, like spiritual 
huh. than every day or something all the time. I, it reveals something about me more about myself that makes me want to take more. That's what I'm saying. Because I'm, wow, okay. I didn't know that about myself. So then I keep going. I keep going. So then if I stop, then, you know, how, I'm always going to have that question back in my head. What if? Well, why? 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 Why would you have that question in the back of your head if you do stop? Because I have. If you got the results that you were aiming for, why would you have that question? Because in the back? one thing I tell you in life is always, it, it never goes, it, it never gets the results that you ask for. Like, that's what I mean by never goes. Like, you get a chance in life, and you, and you don't get something else, it's always going to be, that's, it's forever. That's why you said you always can educate yourself every single day. Because it's you always can get multiple answers, multiple leads. It's multiple voices, and it can all serve you in a, in a beneficial way. But then it still leads to the same information. So that's what I mean by that. Because it's like, okay, I know this, and the answer is always there. So how do I get that? And then I'm gonna just keep figuring out. You know what I'm saying? Never stop. You just keep on going. should want to like always try to get more experience because it's always going to be better for you than it is your peer your peer for yourself mm-hmm. don't never be afraid to to do something that you want to do because it's like oh okay well that was never never but you will focus but now like i said again if you feel like it's like not serving you and it's doing a disservice to you then yeah you stop you know what i'm saying you don't want to put yourself in harm's risk but or whatever situation may be, you gotta walk away from it for a little bit. You know, some come back to it later. Like who knows? But you know, you gotta. That's something you have to analyze. That's something you have to sit down with yourself and ask yourself. Like, is this serving me? Is this what it is? The purpose for me? So. I didn't answer the question. <laughs> That's what I was here thinking. Like, did I answer? Maybe. Um. Thank you, I feel like I always, um, I always face delays or obstacles in my spiritual life, all the time, and what when I respond to them, um, I don't know. I guess I respond. My response will be self reflection. You know, that's all I can do. You know, I just take time out and I self-reflect before I even, you know, put myself out there anymore. I just reflect on that situation. I sit, take time to myself and just really um, figure out where I need to go from there or where I need to go from here. Um, And what did you learn from the experience? I learned... I I learned I I feel like there's a there's experience that comes out of every um yeah I mean no there's a there's a experience every time you experience some type of spiritual journey you know, any time you you experience any obstacle, mm-hmm. anything, um, something you can take away from that situation. So I guess every situ, I guess um, a different, a, a new approach. You know, you just take a new approach to that's. I feel like that's what it is. You just yeah, you take you figure out a new a, approach to every experience so if you learn something from this experience you take what you learn from that experience and apply it to this experience Mm -hmm. so um sometimes there could be a situation where um you don't take anything from that experience and it's just meant to be right there and then you just continue on from you know you just continue on 
Um, That's what I said. What What did you learn from the experience, and how do you how did did you answer how how did you respond? No. I, so how do you how did you respond to those obstacles or delays? Um. In your spiritual life, and did you learn from the experience? So how did you respond and then say how did you learn from it? How did you respond to those delays or obstacles oh. in your spiritual life? My healing journey, I didn't even know that I was going through that. You know, like, you going to, you, your response is going to say, you know, what? Okay. You know, you're going to be mad at me, right? You feel like you have to weigh in. You're going to be like, you know, disapproving to the situation. Yeah, you just want to know what want to get surprised by it. But then I was really spiritual and I was like, okay, if you really get into your spiritual your spiritual life, that then that's when you can get to know what you want. You know, like then You gotta sit back to sit back. And just you know, yeah, sit yeah, sit back. And and then just knowing that whatever you like I said, you know, I I don't know if I wanna start doing this stuff. Um the work that I do. So like And you know, like the the delay, it's it's okay because you know that you wait patiently and you do what you do and put the work in. You know, eventually, it's something you're gonna feel. It's something you're gonna tell yourself like, okay, like you know, like okay, you know, like I'm probably gonna do this and I'm gonna but but if you continue to keep on doubting yourself or you continue to keep on the human side of the things, the the the, the feelings and emotions and all that hits you and overpowers you and compounds. Then you're going to have a hard time in the spiritual life to be to to be able to, to maintain and keep it working and do what you do because you know that's gonna overpower you. That's gonna always be, you know, in between what you like is going to get. So I'm saying, so it's like that's when you can kind of be like, oh, this is a spiritual thing. Like you gotta be real. You gotta be. You gotta really be on it because you gotta know what's going on. You I know what's going on now. I got some guys and you know like guys and you know people you know like that that that's in your time. You know what your eyes and your your like you your prize. Like you know what your prize is. You know what your the, the reward you're looking for. You know what you're aiming for. So as long as you just hold on to that, you know, you'll be you'll be fine. You should want to experience anything that is good that any man. Good, bad, sad, everything. You shouldn't want to take it all in. You shouldn't want. You shouldn't. So, what was your it. response to it? Um. My response, like I said, like you said, like I'm, I'm, I'm on my own terms with this. You know, I'm feeling. I, I got questions and this and that and all that. And then my spirit. So you questioning it? Yeah. But okay, okay. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you once was one response, but you sit back and you. You just don't do nothing. Yeah, right. Well, basically, you you sit back and you be still yeah. while you experience all those yeah. feelings yeah, of like, you want to know, you want like you humbling yourself. Yeah, so like, yeah, that's the, right. That's the that's the human side. That's the you know the world outside. That's the, the I, I see the world side. That's my human side. The world inside got me in my mind, in my mind, through this, and I got my mind. Mm -hmm. What did you learn from the experience? Um, the delay or just or just what did you learn? What could well, you take from that experience? My, 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 like I learned a lot about how vulnerable I am. I learned how weak I really am sometimes. So it's like when you once you put it, you take it all in. You, I learned. Then it could be this, and then like it could go, it could be, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like, well, I know that I am strong, so I gotta get myself better too. I mean, yeah, I, I, that might sound odd, but like once you get yourself better, like it makes you go back to the drawing board right away. It's like, you know what? Okay, now I gotta get this better right here, you know? Like, it's like it's, a, it's almost like a constant reminder. 
or my mind just to itself, and you just go like that. You feel me? Like, what are y'all gonna do? It's a good thing at the same time because it, it, it opens up your eyes to where, oh, damn, I need to be more up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Instead of being over here fucked up, I'm not up here still kind of kind of like just feeling some type of way about it. I can be over here and doing something. You know what I'm saying? And being like that, you know. And that's where that, that, that smile, the, 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 the good part of it always comes out to you. You feel good at the end of the day because you know, God knows Even though I'm going through this and it sucks, <laughs> this right here is going to be God. Yeah. What you think of that? Hmm? What you think of that? Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, so. <laughs> Shut up. So those were the, um, that was the, the, um, those the questions today, you know, in regards to going through their faith journey. Um, yeah, faith journey, man. You just gotta, yeah. You gotta stay. You gotta stand. You gotta be firm. You gotta be strong. You gotta stand in that blessing. Everybody was talking about standing in business and stuff. You gotta stand in business and spiritual life. You gotta really put the work in because everything requires work. I don't care what it is. It could be yeah. a technical thing. It's a business thing. And really the spiritual work is really hard because you got a lot of things that's against you. But sometimes you can just apply it to regular life. Yeah. You know, Possibly. when you go around and you cleaning, you just sweeping and you doing your home. You know, you know use that time to you know, take your time. Focus. Do what you need to do. Be in the mode. Like, be in uh, the moment. Be in the moment. And don't take it away. Like, I feel like, yeah, you take away. You take away uh, moments by not. It's a daily, feel. it's a daily routine. Yeah. Daily practice. You gotta feel. Mm-hmm. You gotta feel. You should want to feel. Um, and sometimes you can get real fearful, though. You can get real fearful of going further with your spiritual journey because of how you know people can make you feel um okay. how you you and sometimes you got to try to bypass that feeling because not everything is bad you yeah, know no. some things you just use to get by and that's between you and god so you know whoever don't feel that way about you um, I mean, whoever makes you feel wrong about what you're doing, yeah, just yeah. know that's between you and God. Yeah. God knows what you're doing. Yeah, you know, you know don't, yeah. yeah. So yeah. don't get discouraged too fast. You gotta ignore people. You can't be always, you know, sensitive to what people feel good because people are gonna have their opinion. You know, that's just life. There's nothing you can do about it. It's out of your control what people feel and think about you. But it is in your control on what you. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know your limits. <laughs> you know what what um what you can cross and what you you know you should stay away from. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. You know afraid. what lines to cross. I said that. You know what lines to cross and don't be afraid. Don't yeah. Be afraid. I mean don't be afraid, but at the same time don't be stupid either. Period. Yeah. You know. Don't be afraid. Don't though. be stupid either. Because a lot of people will try to play you like a fool and yeah. treat you like you're stupid, like you don't know what you're doing. But, but, you know, but it's in you to what? Like when people do that, like I said, you have to do day. That's why you got to get to know people. Uh, it's, it's smart. It's better or, not getting to know people. Though. But that's how you, you know. But that's how you know. See, with me, again, I'm a biblical experience, a therapist. So, like, I, I need to know. I need to, that's what's gonna help me. See, I'm always thinking about me at the end of the day. So, since I tell myself that, like, I'm always thinking about me at the end of the day, and I'm thinking about, and what I mean by me, I'm talking about, like, 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 like protecting me. Like, I'm always thinking about protecting me. That's what I should say. I'm always thinking about protecting myself because that's my responsibility, and all of our responsibility is to protect yourself. 
No one's supposed to protect me. No one's supposed to protect you, but you. You know what I'm saying? Being for real. Like, being, if you want to be on a, on a real spiritual, like, you're supposed to protect your, your spirituality. You're supposed to protect. So, that's, so how you go, it's ways of going about doing it. And if you don't know somebody, that's why it's easier to, to, to fall. It's easier to, to, to fall in stuff and do stuff and go through stuff that you shouldn't go through if you know them. Because, like, a person, every time a person opens up their mouth, every time a person comes around you, every time a person disappears, they just build themselves more and more and more and more. The, think about it like this. The more you're around someone, the more that you know them. The more you see them. But sometimes some people just don't need that time of energy from you. Well, that's the, that's just depending on like again, who who the um who the um the person is. Like it depends who the, the uh, it's all about people too, because we all different. Like everybody different, bro. It's all about who that person is. So for you, like, okay, man, this person is so like me. You know what I'm saying? You'll know right away. And then it's people you're like, you know, you meet people, it's interesting. Like it's not everybody is just this is well not interested in stuff like that. Like this you come across in the world and you meet some interesting people, and you come across in the world, you meet some, uh, you experience, you know, stuff like that's your life. I don't care who you are, you all go come across it. But again, if you're doing your spiritual work and you're doing the things you got to be doing, then you, you shouldn't worry about it because you know that God is going to reveal it. He going to yeah. reveal that person is not good for you. Or that person should be in your life because you let it play out. You let it, you doing what you gotta do, and you're not worried about it because you know that you doing what you gotta do. That person's gonna be dealing with something. I know you don't believe that, <laughs> but it's true. It works for me every um, time. Every time. I, I'm just saying, people can put you in that position. That's all I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, they, they can put you in a position only if you allow it. You See, again, gotta... it comes back to you. Only if you allow it. Only if I allow that, it's only going to happen. I have to allow a person to get to me and I can get to you. But, again, it's about that person. It's about that person. That person, if that person is good, then it won't even come out that. You get what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You see how things play out? If a person is good and a person got good intentions and they, and they got a good spirit and they're just a good person in this world, it don't play out that way. That's how, that's that's what I'm saying. That shows love. That shows love. That's how can you get to that point if the person is good? A person or everybody. Whoever whoever watches this video, this is some real stuff. You know when a person is bad, when a person is good. Because it, and the thing is it's the problem with people. They wanna know right away, or they wanna know in a timely fashion. When it is good or bad, sometimes it takes years to know a person is bad. Sometimes it takes months. Sometimes it takes weeks. Sometimes, like we don't know. There's no time frame or expiration date on when this person's going bad on this day. It has to play itself out. And I was saying that when it, everything I was telling my daughter said, "What all things come to an end. Nothing lasts forever." So again, if it's a good person, y'all gonna be good forever. I'm not saying it's going to be a perfect relationship and everything's going to be just sunshine and rainbows, but I was saying that if the person is good, they're going to be a purpose in your life and they're going to be there for God for having you. You're not going to have people in your life for long. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's bad. That person is bad because he was there for a test. He was there. Wow. But that's all I really got to say. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I don't know what I want. But at the end of the day, um, just to, on a positive note, just keep, you know, keep your head up and stay strong. No matter what, ain't nothing in this world that you can do. Ain't nothing that you can't, you know, do for yourself. And it's, 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 you don't always have to keep your, your head up. I'm going to just add to that. Keep your head down. You, yeah. Because like yeah. I told one person, I was like, sometimes, you know, it's, it's good. It's better. Looking down at the roses and the grass and everything else instead of 
you know, being faced with your problems every single, single day. Up. Sometimes it's good to just look away for a little bit and then eventually, you know, you, you notice in them roses and all them them flowers and stuff in the grass and you it's changing your perception right there. Yeah. So you're getting a new vision and then you look up and now you see the beauty of, of what life is. Maybe you got a different vision about that person. So yeah. I don't Especially as a man, you always got to be up there with your guard, you know, with your guard up and you got to be, you know, always ready as a man. That's how y'all have to be. Yeah. Y'all always got to be aware, you know. But that's what you have a woman for a woman to come back and and ex- and show you that you still have a soft spot there. <laughs> just yeah. Sometimes, and if you don't got a woman, you just need a person there to remind you that, you know. I mean, if you don't have one in those situations, then just try to find some type of woman, your mother, your mom, your sister. I said your mother, your mom. Your mom, your sister, your friend, your cousin. Try to find someone there to kind of remind you that you still have a spot. So that's the that's the big thing about parents. We got our kids to remind us. You start to lose yourself. Because as a woman, y'all can't y'all can't just live like that simple Right. We so, can't. So at the end of but the day. But oftentimes we do. At the end of the day. But I feel like we all do the same thing. You know, the women still need to be you know, that's how we need to go. Give yourself more credit on the things that you do on a regular basis. And remember to cultivate your patience. Um, and perseverance.
in your spiritual life. Wake up.